guys, welcome back to the channel. Me and Keith are here inside Coverage Supply and we're gonna test out three impacts. We're gonna test out a new one that we have not used before, which is the Metabo, and see how it stacks up against the Milwaukee and the Makita, and also see how the Makita and Milwaukee compare to each other in terms of power and ease of use. And then Keith is gonna talk a little bit about which one he likes best for putting on metal roofing, putting all the screws in, and what is easiest to use for whatever. So first, let's see which of these impacts drives these three and a half inch lags in the fastest. Milwaukee is a powerhouse. But Keith, what, what drill is your favorite? What, what do you like about the Milwaukee? Because you've used both of these, right? Yeah, so we, we have a lot more of the Milwaukee, or the Makita versus the Milwaukee, but one thing I do like about this is when you're adjusting screws that need to be picky, like roof metal, it's really important that you set the depth you know, correctly. So this one here is just a little easier to control the depth um, versus the Milwaukee. Especially on like the gable trim and the eave trim, getting that, mm -hmm. making sure the screws are not over sunk, creating yep. buckling in the trim, because you'll see that. Yep. Um, the Makita right here is way easier to fine tune mm -hmm. that speed, to slowly adjust that speed. Yep. Where this, it's just a powerhouse right off the bat. I mean, you can feather it, but not near mm -hmm. like this. The, the low end on these is a little, you can control them a little bit. Yeah, like you can yeah. just barely spin that thing. Mm -hmm. That one just right off the bat, way more. Granted, if you're driving big lags um, mm -hmm. and you need a lot of power, <laughs> Milwaukee is a powerhouse. This is what you prefer, like for all your yeah. screwing yeah. and metal installation and stuff. Yeah. And you're thinking about using, bringing this on. Yeah, I, I haven't used this one yet, but the, the control is a lot like the Makita. It's very smooth. It is fast as well, so I am curious to see how it's gonna do, but so far, you know, just playing around with them here, I really like it. And, it, and it's really light as well. I would say very comparable to the Makita as far as weight, so but very, very smooth as well. So this is a 36 volt versus mm -hmm. 18. What would make you choose Metabo over I Makita? I don't know. The, the biggest thing with any of these tools is, is that once you start with one, you just gotta keep on going because if you have so many batteries in Makita, it's hard to swap over to something like this when they're so comparable to speed, smooth, all that stuff. So, so Makita, you buy this battery and it fits, what, mm -hmm. 80 to 90% of the, their yep. tools. Mm -hmm. Is Metabo the same way? So Metabo does have an 18 volt and a 36 volt. In a lot of their stuff, you have to have the 36 volt um, you know, power tool to, to go with the 36 volt battery. So um, yeah, there's you can't use them, all the tools with all the batteries. So I, say, I see the battery says 36 mm -hmm. volt through 18 volt. That is a 36 volt uh, impact and it can go into the 18. 18. Yeah. And it for but, sure doesn't hurt the uh, right. 18 volt drill. Ooh. The 18 volt battery does not go in the 36 volt. Ah. It doesn't go in. So the 36 can go in all of them, but the 18s volt batteries cannot go in the 36 volt. So that's kind of cool. Yep. If you need a big battery pack, um, mm -hmm. it works in the 18 volt or 36 yep. volt yep. tools from Metabo. Because this would also work in Metabo's nailer and stuff, right? Yes, that's right. right. On. So yep. it's universal there. Yep. All right, guys, there it is. If you want to see us test more tools or go over some of the tools we use in our kits, in installing our kits, mm -hmm. framing, whatever. Let us know down in the comments down below and we'll do more demos like this. All right, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Me or Keith will be on there and answer any questions.